Away from agriculture, as Nigeria's economy diversifies its economy, the call for improving infrastructure is being, becoming increasingly critical to unlocking the nation's maritime potential. This follows PTML Terminal's recent transshipment of over 5,000 vehicles from China, marking a significant step towards establishing Nigeria as a major maritime hub. TVC News senior business correspondent Ifunaya Eze reports. Nigeria is strategically positioned to become a major maritime hub, strengthened by substantial trade volume in the region. However, achieving this goal requires fully tapping into its marine and blue economy potential. Recently, PTML Nigeria reached a significant milestone by receiving a Grimadi vessel at the Tinkan Island port, successfully transshipping 5,489 brand new vehicles destined for Europe and Africa. Managing Director Russo Ascanio emphasized that this achievement highlights Nigeria's capability to emerge as a logistics hub. This has always been one of the goal of the federal government to develop Nigeria as a a center of distribution for the whole of West Africa. This ship came from Shanghai to Lagos. All the vehicles were discharged here, and there were like more than 5,000, the largest ever number of new cars discharged in Nigeria. And then uh, uh, they were parked in this terminal, in PTML, and from here we distributed on different ships going to Europe, going to South America, and going to other West Africa destinations. He elaborated on the benefits Nigeria could gain from attaining logistics hub status. When we receive a ship discharging 5,000 cars, you can imagine the quantity of the number of drivers, the number of tallymen, the number of workers we need to deploy. This is extra activities. This brings also extra revenues, and these revenues are not going to PTML only. These revenues are shared between PTML and the Nigerian port authorities. So there is a benefit for the Nigerian port authorities, there is a benefit for the government in terms of extra economic activities, extra work, extra taxation and extra revenues directly which are going through the royalties we are paying to Nigerian port authority. So this is a business which was not existing before and which we have been able to generate. Mr. Ascanio also underscored the urgent need for rehabilitation of Nigeria's port infrastructure, noting that modernizing these facilities is essential for expanding trade. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.